Alrighty guys, so we've got here, they're asking us to multiply these two numbers. We got 7 times the square root of 12, a to the third power, times negative 2 times the square root of 6a. Okay, so what can we do? We're going to combine the coefficients, and then we're going to combine the radicals. 7 times negative 2, that's negative 14. Now we're going to combine the radicals. Um, I'm just going to say... 12 times 6 um, times 8 to the third times 8 to the first power is going to be 8 to the fourth. Okay. Now looking at this, I can see that um, 8 to the fourth, what is the square root of 8 to the fourth? So the rule of um, the rule about exponents is um, if, if you have um, some sort of number or variable uh, to the power of this exponent underneath a radical, if it's a square root of this of this value, um, this exponent is going to be divided by two. Okay, because essentially, essentially this a to the fourth power under the square under square root is essentially a to the fourth power over two. Okay, those are these are equivalent um, equivalent you know values, and that gives you a square. Okay, so this um, so this a to the fourth power, this square root, square root of a, a to the fourth power is just gonna be a squared. I'm gonna take that out. Negative fourteen a squared times twelve times six. Twelve times six. Um, can we break down this twelve? This twelve breaks down into two times six. So we got two times six times six. Okay, 6 times 6 is 36. If you've got two 6s underneath the radical, we can take them both out as 1. Okay, so we got um, negative 14 times 6. A squared times the square root of 2. Uh, negative 14 times 6, that's going to be uh, negative 64. Negative 64, A squared times the square root of 2. All right, should we do another one? Okay. Let's do this one. Let's do 10 to the square root of two times three times the square root of 10 minus six square root of five. Okay, so here, this one's a little bit different. What's different about it is, um. Now we have to pay attention to PEMDAS, right? Um, PEMDAS is like the order of operations. So, uh, so multiplication becomes multiplication um, comes before subtraction. So, so essentially, we have to do this part before we can do this part because you know if you don't do that, it'll be wrong. Um, Multiplication become multiplication comes before subtraction, so it's this times this, then minus this, not this minus this times this. Okay, it makes it makes a big difference. Okay, so first we have to multiply these two. That's going to give you thirty times the square root of twenty. Okay, uh, thirty times the square root of twenty. Um, and now we can bring down this minus six, six times square root of five. Okay. Um, the square root of 20, can we break down the 20? Yeah, right. So this 20 can be broken down into four times five minus six square root of five. Okay. So, uh, four times five equals 20. What is the square root of four? Two, right? So we can take the square root of 4 out, turn it into 2. So this is going to be 30 times 2 times the square root of 5, and then minus 6 square root of 5. Okay. Um, 30 times 2 is 60. 60 square root of 5 minus 6 square root of 5. Okay, now, now that they both, both of these numbers now have... Um, the same, they're both multiplied to the same 
square root value, right? Before we couldn't do this, before we couldn't combine them, but now that they are both, now that both of these numbers are multiplied by the same radical, square root of five, um, they are considered to be like terms, and now you can subtract them, right? So 60 minus six is 54 times square root of five. 